Hi, I'm Mark from Sounds and Sync, the developer of Ediload. If you're new to Ediload or Ediload version 5, this video will introduce you to how the Ediload main window works. I'll demonstrate how to import and append a variety of Edilist files, as well as run through the list data processing windows that can modify this data. This is helpful when you wish to assemble location web files, create a picture cut track or scene change track, or use any of the other Ediload functions. But before we start, please see the Ediload file spec PDF that can be saved from the help menu. Send this to your picture editor when requesting files, so they know what type of file to provide, given the picture edit system they are using. It recommends, where possible, to supply an AEF or XML file over an EDL file because AEFs and XMLs contain scene and take number fields and also store the frame rate of each source clip. Ediload can import editless data from a variety of files, including AEF, XML, EDL, and PTX files. The XML files that Ediload can import follow the Final Cut Pro 7 specification, like the XML files that Premiere Pro can export. Ediload also has its own file type, the Ediload list file. All file types can be imported by drag and dropping them onto the main window. Or you can select the file by clicking the Open or Import toolbar buttons, or by selecting the File Open or File Import menu items. See the File menu for the assigned keyboard shortcuts. Most edit list file types can contain edit information for video and audio tracks. While importing AF and XML files, select which track type to import. While importing EDL files, both track types are imported when present in the EDL file. The tracks that aren't required can be deleted via the filter by track list. The Edilone main window can only contain a single video track. When AEF or XML files are loaded with more than one video track, select which track to load. If more than one video track is selected, Ediload will flatten these tracks to create a single V1 track. While importing EDL files, you need to set the frame count of the source and destination time codes, as this information is not stored within the file. When you have been supplied multiple EDL files, one for each video layer, these can be imported simultaneously by selecting File, Import, Multiple Video EDL Files, or by drag and dropping them onto the main window. This window is displayed to confirm the layer order of the EDL files before they are loaded and flattened into a single V1 track. Ediload can also import edit data from one or more tracks of a Pro Tools PTX session file. This can be used to load a customized reconform guide track or to create a video EDL for a picture editor to conform the pictures of a live music event that has been edited in Pro Tools. Select which timestamp to set the source timecodes to and assign one or more Pro Tools tracks to an edit list track. Ediload will warn if any clips of the imported tracks do not start or end on a frame edge. If the Pro Tools clips are linked to web files that are present and these contain sound roll metadata, this data is loaded into the role name column. If the session you want to import is already open in Pro Tools, simply select File, Get Data from Pro Tools to save locating the session file. Just make sure you save any changes made in Pro Tools before importing. Ediload list, AEF, XML, and EDL files can be appended to files of the same file type. To append, Either select the file via the File Append menu or the Append Toolbar button menu, or drag and drop the file to be appended and click Append. Ediload list, AEF and XML files can be appended when the appended file contains events that do not overlap the data that is already loaded. To import two files that have the same start time, offset the time codes of the first file before appending the second. For example, here I have a Real 1 and Real 2 edit list that both start at 1 hour. To load both, I import the Real 2 edit list and offset the destination time codes by plus 1 hour. Then append the Real 1 edit list, which is inserted before the Real 2 events. Appending EDLs works slightly different 
in that you can append reels or episodes by time, or they can be appended to add more audio tracks. When appending an EDL by time, this additional window is displayed and can be used to offset the destination time codes of the incoming list if required. While processing edit list data, you may need to find or filter the data in order to delete or update the fields of specific events. The find field can search for text in all columns of the edit list or just the selected column. Only columns that are currently shown are searched or available for selection. To delete the events that are found, select an event and press Command A on Mac or Control A on Windows and then the delete key. The filter by track list provides a way to display the edit list events that have the selected track assignment, while the filter by role list provides a way to display the edit list events that contain the selected role name. When a selection is made in either list, press the delete key to delete the events that contain the selected track or role name. There are several ways to modify the data in an edit list. You can edit fields directly in the list, where you have the option to tab through the editable fields, or you can use one of the following processing windows to modify multiple events or fields at once. All edit list changes can be undone and redone. Note that the characters that can be entered into the role name column is restricted by the save EDL format selection. Set this to no format to allow entry of characters including space, hyphen, and underscore. The blue dots shown in these role names confirm the location of space characters. The role name batch update window can be accessed via the list batch update role names menu item when no filter selection is made. Select the role names to be updated, enter the new role name, and click update to modify the selected role names in every event that they occur. The file name batch update window can be accessed via the list batch update file names menu item and works the same way as the role name batch update window but then for file names. The column transfer window is the most comprehensive data processing window and can be accessed via the list transfer data between columns menu item. This window allows you to source data from the new entry field or one of the text columns and transfer this data to the same or a different text column in the edit list. The data can be copied in its entirety or it can be modified using the build or modify controls of this window. The data that is being transferred can be appended to the existing data in each field if required and the data can be transferred for just the selected events or all events that are shown. Select an event to display a preview of what is being sent to the destination field when either transfer button is pressed. The build controls provide a way to extract and modify the data from a clip name that contains multiple numbers or elements. These elements can be a combination of an episode, scene, slate or take number. Set the require controls so only clip names that contain the correct data is processed. For example, if you wish to extract the scene and take numbers from these clip names that contain a scene, take and slate number, select three elements only with a hyphen delimiter and check all elements must contain a number. With this setting, any events that don't contain a clip name with this information, like this clip containing an Atmos edit, will output an empty field in the destination column. See the preview pane to check your settings before transfer. Check which elements are required in the output and configure how the text of each element is modified with these controls. When more than one element is selected for output, set the delimiter to insert between each new element. The modify controls provide a collection of text modifying tools that can update the whole field being transferred. For example, here I'll select Add Text to End to add a .wav extension to the text being generated by the build controls above. This shows how a .wav file name can be built from a clip name and possibly used during assembly to link edit list events to .wav files by file name. 
The last processing window I want to show is the Extract Scene and Take Numbers window. This is a simplified version of the Column Transfer window, designed to extract scene and take numbers from clip names. This window can load the clip names from either the clip name or info columns and populates the scene number and take number columns in one go. This process is required when one or more EDL files has been loaded to create a scene change track or sync sound assembly. Depending on how the scene and take numbers are stored within the clip names, and if this format is consistent in all events, you may also need to use the column transfer window to truncate or clean the clip names in some way before extraction. Here I remove all text before and including the asterisk characters. The clean clip names can be written back to the clip name column, or they can be stored in the info column as shown here. Then set up the scene and take numbers window to extract the numbers from the info column and populate the scene number and take number columns. For more information, go to the Ediload help menu to access the Ediload user guide, the Ediload file spec PDF that you can send to your picture editor, and the sample files zip file that contains the files that can be used while trialing Ediload. To try Ediload version 5 for yourself, either on Mac OS or Windows, just head to the download page of the website. Once the app is installed, just run it and click Try to activate a trial license.